Hi guys, it's Jessica here for a dolly video. Um, I have some really fun things to share with you guys today. Um, very briefly, um, I did want to... Um, there was a, a post that I put on Instagram this morning uh, from one of the confession blogs that I read I don't know a few days ago um, but it was it wasn't about me I didn't state my name or anything but it was basically it was a disparaging remark about the physical appearance of youtubers something about being disheveled in in comparison to their dolls and it made them uncomfortable or <laughs> something annoying like that and <clears throat> Um, you know, we all have our insecurities and, um, the way I look at it is I could spend a bunch of time fixing my hair and putting on some makeup, um, kicking all the bulldogs out of here so that there's no snoring, uh, and then I wouldn't have time to make the video. <laughs> um, so, I don't know, this isn't my job, it's for fun, I'm at home relaxing and you know spending a lot of time on my physical appearance I don't know it's just not that important to me um, uh, I'm not really into makeup and that sort of thing I have had periods of my life where um, I have been and that I'll want to spend a lot of time on my hair that sort of thing um, and if you do want to do those things there's nothing wrong with that um, but there's definitely been some times where, uh, there, there's times where I kind of give, pass up the opportunity to make a video because I'm not liking how I'm looking in that moment. Um, and I admit that that has happened, um, where I didn't like how I looked and I passed up the chance to make a video, um, and share doll stuff with you or talk about something that was making me happy. Um, and I think that's just kind of really too bad. Um, I'm sure I'm not the only one <laughs> who experiences these sorts of feelings. Uh, I have put on some weight um, the last year or so, and <clears throat> it was weight that I needed to put on. Uh, I was underweight and I did not feel good. And <clears throat> I was cold all the time. Uh, I was taking... There was times where I had to take pain medications from just how cold I was. Um, the feeling of not ever being able to get warm. Um, I would be wearing long underwear and fleece and it's 95 degrees out and it's a heat wave. So uh, I feel better <laughs> with this weight on. I sometimes, a lot of times, don't like my appearance as much. Um, and you know, it's just, I think this is especially hard for, for women. Um, but yeah, we, we all are human. We all have these insecurities. And at the end of the day, uh, you can have a doll video or you can have me with fixed hair and makeup, um, and no video. <laughs> so, um, mostly what I wanted to say about this topic too was, uh, that how kind people were in the comments and, um, I do want people to understand that that, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't, they didn't say my name, they didn't use my name explicitly, it was just on the confession blogs, and that's the poison of it, is that you put that out there into the internet, and people read that, and whatever their insecurities are, they internalize those things, and it affects, it affects people, um, and that's really crappy. <laughs> that's really, really crappy. Um, but again, thank you so much to all of the people who left just really kind things on there um, and support. And uh, it sounds like you guys want me to keep making videos. And, and uh, whether my hair is fixed or not doesn't really <laughs> have much to do with it. So, um, so four minutes of that and I'll, I'm going to leave it behind. 
Uh, Lola's here snoring very, very loud. It wouldn't be a video with without... Uh, it wouldn't be one of Sight's videos without a snoring Lola, would it? <laughs> um, I have some really fun things to show you guys. Um, this is Kian, my twiggling Elbe. And I got in an order of... Oh, there's a very loud truck right outside. I'll wait for that to go by. Okay, <laughs> so um, see today is Monday and the shoe order came in Friday or Saturday. I can't remember. I think Saturday. I was at, I was at work, so um, I didn't get to play with them a whole lot until today. Um, but uh, <clears throat> Kian is wearing a pair of these bootlets. They are SD sized heels and uh, so far of all of the, um, the SD heels that I have purchased from Code Noir, these are the only style that actually fit the Twiggling Girls. So I got uh, this pair, I've got um, a blue pair, another of the brown pair, which are actually right here. Um, I was changing some clothes on girls, so these are actually got taken back off. Um, so these are the brown ones, um, and I'll show you the blue ones in a, in a minute too. Um, but I bought these from, I think I've mentioned this before, uh, I bought these from Allison. She is the U.S. rep, uh, and if you order through her, through her then the shipping is free, um, which is nice because I... I it's a pretty expensive shipping. I think it's like a minimum of $10 for the shipping if you order um, through the website or the Etsy or where, wherever. Um, so free shipping is a big bonus for me because even if I just want to buy one pair. So the other thing that she did though was that she um, included these as a free gift. Uh, at this By this point I've had two pretty big orders from her because I love Code Noir. Um, and right now, uh, these ones don't fit uh, Twiggling Girls, but they fit um, People 60 Moe Girls. They have those really fat little, little fat little feet, um, short fat little feet, and they fit really good. I've had my eyes on those. They're just super cute, like little, I don't know, like, would you call them sailor shoes? They're freaking adorable. Um, so if you if you're interested in those and you've seen those, they do fit the people uh, people sixty moe girl bodies. This is my this is Amelia. She's a a jury O five a CP Delph jury O five. Yeah. So I think she's the first the first one the first jury girl. Um, let me grab something. I'll be right back. Okay, here's the card, though it's very, very tiny. Um, for Code Noir USA, uh, dot com, and it also has her email down there, Allison at Code Noir USA dot com. So, uh, there's a website, and uh, there's stuff that she has in stock there. Um, but you can, anything that's on the main Code Noir website, you can order through her. So you're not restricted to just what's on the USA website. So, uh, the other exciting thing, um, that came in, and I didn't do a very good job of, like, hiding this ahead of time, <laughs> but, uh, these came in today. These are my alpaca wigs from sugary cuppy cakes boutique um that is um and i think that's what her name on uh instagram is that's where uh and youtube i think that's all uh the same it's got the information right there uh and i ordered these i think i ordered them maybe it was the beginning of december the end of november I can't I can't remember um, but uh, I it was it came in an envelope and I was opening it up 
Um, and there was three boxes inside. And I had a moment where I was like, did I order? I thought I ordered two wigs. And then I just was like, gosh, maybe I did order three. And I put, she included a, a, a gift wig. So um, I'm going to show them each to you here. Um, and uh, I did play with them for a long time. Uh, this one, I'm not sure if it's going to end up going to um, my Pieta, Twiggling Pieta or not. Right now, Alyssa is uh, is wearing it, and um, I think that she's going to need something that's a lot um, more crazy. <laughs> I really want to get her uh, like a um, really curly mohair wig, but I really like the colors on her, so right now she's wearing it. But isn't this gorgeous? So I haven't done any curling or anything like that. I just brushed them out because they were a little bit, well, you know, if wigs go through the mail, um, they're going to get kind of mussed up. They were packed very well. They were packed very, very good. But they just get, they just, <laughs> you know, coming all the way from Australia, that's basically all around, you know, the other side of the world. Um, so I did brush them out a little bit. But uh, yeah, they, they, they were in pretty good shape. So I think it looks really pretty on her. <laughs> so she can wear it for now. And this one is probably my favorite one. Um, this, I'll show you, I mean, I'm showing you this first just because it's so beautiful to see the colors. Isn't that gorgeous? I brushed this one out quite a bit too. So you see it's got a little bit of a natural wave there. Um, I'm really nervous to do it, but I do want to take a curling iron to it. I have a really small curling iron, so I might try to do that. But uh, this is uh, this is Herla uh, in her in her new shell in this. Uh, um, this is the the short waist, short leg, twiggling body. And she is wearing, she's also wearing this latest corset that I finished. And I really like the colors on her. Um, I think with her having the short waist and the short legs that she would probably look better in um, a shorter corset. Even though, even though like this part is the same as my other girls, uh, when you look at her in her entirety with her legs, I think it, it would just look a little, um, if this was a shorter, and she also has much, uh, I, um, I'd forgotten this. I don't know how I had, but she has, her boobs are like one size down from say like Elbe or Pieta, um, or my other twiggling girls. They all have the same bust size, I think, which is now considered the size C it's changed um, the designations, but currently it's considered the, the size. So this would be probably the size B bus size. So I think that she needs um, a shorter corset and her bust doesn't fill this out as well. So um, I like the colors on her and I really like how it turned out, but I think I don't think it's going to be her for her because just because of the fit because her bust size and her legs smaller bust shorter legs I don't think it's quite quite as good um, on her but I am happy with how it turned out uh, I'm out of this is like the only ribbon that, that I have left is yellow ribbon so <laughs> I need to restock on ribbon I've used it all up. Um, so what I did here was I used uh, some embroidered lace uh, and I just um, sewed the front panel with that embroidered lace so I could have that embroidered corset look. And I did uh, the um, ribbon, the braided ribbon down both sides and it's beaded. Um, there's a small uh, 
little bow on each of these. And I do think that maybe a little bit larger size bow. Um, the other thing I was doing is maybe doing some cloth. Uh, um, roses, basically. Uh, so mostly done. And I might, so this blue lace here, I might do another layer of blue lace down here. But at the time I was already not liking how long this looked on this shorter body. So if it goes to somebody else, I might end up doing that. But okay, I'm trying to hurry. <laughs> I don't have much time. Uh, but I wanted to show you the blue pair. I think that these are my favorite. I think these blue ones are my absolute favorite. Um, definitely Herla's color. Love these bootlets. They actually came with um, like a white lacing, um, but I didn't like that as well. So I switched out the lacing for um, the dark lacing that the other ones come with. Um, but if you if you get those, it, they come with uh, a light, almost white cream lacing. Um, so, as I said, there was a third wig in there, uh, and I indeed did not um, buy a third one. So, I have this on Glenda, my Feeple 60 ID head. This beautiful short, it's like a short little bob, um, blonde wig. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so gorgeous beautiful fiber. It's like this golden blonde. Thank you so much, Carlinda. That, I, yeah, I, I opened up that bag and was so confused. Did I order three wigs? Maybe I did. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, thank you so much. That's freaking awesome. So, Glinda is wearing it right now. I think she pulls off, uh, you know, she's got a very natural face up, um, so she and she pulls off blonde very nicely. It suits her well. Uh, I love um, I love these business cards. It's got her uh, little motif on the front and on the back. It's got her little Mary Doll Round Girl um, and care instructions for the wig. I just thought, I just think that that's super cute. And each wig came with its own card. <laughs> so I, I always save, I have a box, I have a box full um, of everyone's business cards. They're actually in the same box as my, C, my um, certificates of authenticity. Like all the business cards I always get from any doll people go in that box. So I like to save that stuff. <laughs> So, I feel like I'm forgetting something. There was something else I wanted to show you guys. Um, I showed you uh, how awesome um, Guha looks on, okay, messy doll room. No judging. Um, here he is. So he, poor Herne hasn't gotten back on his body. I've just, like, he is so, so handsome. I cannot wait to bring home his body. I was excited before, now I'm really excited. <laughs> All right, thanks again, guys. Thanks, Carlinda, so much for these amazing wigs. I am so, so happy. Um, uh, am I forgetting anything? Okay, I gotta run. <laughs> Have a good week, yes, bye-bye. I forgot something. Look at this beautiful fabric. Look at this. Oh, my light's all screwy. Really beautiful fabric that Carlin just sent with the wigs. It's um, a peacock fabric with gold details. Uh, I think that this would look really pretty on a corset, actually. Really gorgeous. Thank you. Bye-bye.